Well, she was the first African American woman at the time to hold the post of chair on the board of a Long Island Community College and says her success is due to her upbringing here on Long Island. News 12's Tama Ponton spoke with Teresa Sanders as part of News 12 salute to Black History Month. I went to East Meadows School, so I was in Bottomwood Elementary School and the only black person in my class. Teresa Sanders is now the president and CEO of the Urban League of Long Island and says she is still putting into practice the lessons her parents taught her growing up at Mitchell Field. Even if you feel alone and by yourself, you have to have confidence in your skills. You can't concentrate on how other people perceive you. Sanders has worked for the Urban League for almost 30 years. She says the organization works to ensure people in Nassau and Suffolk have equal opportunity to academic enrichment programs and workforce development training, especially youth education and training. We empower communities and change lives. Sanders is also a member of the Board of Trustees at Suffolk Community College, where she made history back in 2016 when she was elected as board chair, the first black person and first black woman to hold that post. Very often I am the only person of color in a room. I'm the only person of color that a group is saying, okay, let's put you on the panel. And so I, I recognize how important that is. Um, and I've learned from what my parents have taught me. Sanders, whose father was an NYPD officer, says her parents taught her to take pride in her diversity, interest, and supported her dreams and goals. Encouragement she is working to pass along to the next generation of Long Islanders. I would encourage people to seek a multitude of things to explore. You just don't know what's going to strike that, you know, that little spark and, and give you the encouragement to want to do something in life that's a little bit different. It's made me brave. In Plainview, I'm Tama Paulton, News 12, Long Island. And the Urban League of Long Island was founded in 1972 by a group of Grumman workers who couldn't find job opportunities. It's now our region's oldest community-based organization working to improve opportunities for African Americans and people in other underrepresented groups.